Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Marvel Strike Force video. In this video, Mysterio joins the fight. That is right, we're going to go over how to unlock him. There's some changes with him, which is very cool. We're going to open up some orbs, we're going to level him up, we're going to go take a look at his animations and uh, have quite a bit of fun with him. So, But first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So Mysterio joins the fight. We just got this, this in-game mail, and I wanted to go through it really quick before we jump into opening his orbs and stuff because they've made some changes with him. So just kind of going through his availability right here. So he is going to be available as a daily login calendar in a daily login calendar starting on the 22nd, so just a few days away. And then he's also going to be in the recurring milestone. So there's going to be plenty of ways to unlock this guy, albeit you got to go through the daily login calendar and the milestones and things like that. So it takes a little bit of time in order to get him, but there's a very good chance that through all of this, uh, he should be fairly easy to obtain. And then obviously you can recruit him early by purchasing the orb. Now the orb was a little bit different this time. The pack is typically a $24.99 pack. This one was a $49.99 pack, but it, it was different. So Previously, you would get 16,000 fragments, which would be eight orbs. The minimum you can get on those orbs is six, which gives you 40 some odd. 40. <laughs> My brain's not functioning now, but enough to unlock them as that, as that two star. Now, in this pack, you got 55 right off the bat, and then you also got the 16,000 orb fragments which is in that mid 40s. So you're guaranteed to get him at least up to that 100 shard unlock. And then, you know, if you're lucky in, in the orbs and stuff, you can get him up a little bit higher. So, I mean, it did even out as far as the value there. It's it's essentially the same, but instead of lock, unlocking him as a two star, you're unlocking him um, at a three star. So that was the difference in this. And uh, so there's his availability right there. So let's go ahead and jump into the orbs themselves. Now, as far as uh, the pillars and everything, everything is the same, even if you go into looking at what he uh, drops here for the different shard amounts. So six shards is still 46%. The 180 star shards is still a 0.13%. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump in there and see if we get anything good. See if we can get some really good pulls on him. So let's go. We've got eight to go. So we got a six there. Be nice to get some purple gear too. Got another six. What's that? 145,000 gold. That's pretty good. That's nice. What else we got here? Another six. No, that's an eight. Another six. Another six. So, you know, typical luck that I have. We got 10 there. That's nice. Uh, this is, uh, I think we got one more after this. There's a six. This is probably the final one. There's another six. A little bit of purple gear there. So overall, what did we get? We got 54. So with the 55 that we get, um, obviously we'll be able to un unlock them at that 100 shard unlock. And uh, I got some blue gear, a little bit of purple, nothing really major there. Got some nice gold though, 271,000. So let's go ahead and recruit him. There he is. All right. And there we go, Mysterio. I love how he takes his the ball off of his head. Um, uh, what is it? Valley mentioned something about Ichabod K uh, Crane. <laughs> it looks exactly like that with his pumpkin head that gets uh, that, get, that, that he takes off and throws at people. That'd be cool attack if he took off his head and threw it as an attack. All right, so there he goes. What do we got? We have him uh, at 105 right now. So let's go ahead and see where we're going to go ahead, train him up to. We could take him all the way up to 70, but I'm not going to. I am going to bring him down to 60 because I think that's where I have all of these guys right now. Plus, it allows us to still unlock all of the abilities there. So uh, except for the oranges, and I don't really go into the oranges. So we'll go ahead and do this. 1.3. Let's see where we go. He goes from... 105 to 1537 and there we go all right 
So we're going to go ahead and stop there. I'm going to go ahead and do the normal thing, gear them up as much as I can. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them to gear nine, gear tier nine, but I'll get them as high as I can. A lot of my purple gear is going into my raid teams so that I can get further prepared for Ultima 7, which I'm doing really well on. I'm up to like 223k for my raid team. Still, I know, lagging behind, uh, behind some people a little bit, but... Uh, that's where a lot of that purple material is going. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And through the magic of editing, I'll be right back. All right. And there we go. So we got him up to level 60. Gear tier 8. I'm missing some purple materials there. Got his abilities up to the usual 666 six, six, and 4. He's sitting at 18K right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at him as a whole. So Mysterio is an enigmatic controller who manipulates his enemy's status effects. He's a Villain City Tech Controller, Spider-Verse, and Sinister Six. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at his stats at this level. So 33K health. Not fantastic. However, we are a little bit low, but I don't expect the controller to have too much health anyway. Uh, I'm kind of curious where he tops out at that. All right, his damage is at a 3401. Again, not a lot of damage expected from a controller either. His focus, though, is at 1053, which is good there. And then his resistance, 1057. His speed is at 100, so that's a little bit low. He's not the quickest. He's not the quickest off the starting line right there. And then there are the rest of his stats. So uh, he's okay. I think really where it comes into for this guy is his ability. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. We have the old one two. All right, what is this? We're going to clear two positive effects from the primary target, and then we're going to attack the primary target for 200% damage. If you go ahead and level that back up, you're going to add 50% damage and clear three positive effects. All right, so right off the bat, extra 50... We'll have to take a look at his other stats. Uh, I'll keep this in the back of my mind to see if this is something that I think would be worthy of putting orange material in. But whenever you can clear positive effects, it's always good. And whenever you can do some additional damage, it is always good. So, all right, so let's go into this next one. Master of Illusion. So you're going to apply blind to the primary target, gain assist from a random Sinister Six ally, and then 70% chance to gain an assist from a random ally. So up to two assists right there. If the target is a city hero, then a 70% chance to apply ability block as well. So that's always good too, whenever you can mess up the rotation of the other, uh, of the other team. Now, if you upgrade the ability to level seven, then you're always going to gain assist from a random ally, and you're going to always apply ability block. So you're still you're going to get the the assist from Sinister Six. You're going to get the assist from the from the uh, random ally, and then you're going to get a guaranteed ability block. For me, I think that is definitely worth the orange material right there. Uh, I mean, you got extra damage, you got ability block. It's just that could be very very cool. All right, next, Smoke and Mirrors. Attack all enemies for 290% damage. Apply heal block to the primary target for two and two random allies. That's really going to hurt the team when they can't heal. You upgrade that to level 7, then you're going to increase damage by 60% across all allies, and then you're going to apply heal block to all enemies. Now, for me, again, that's going to be orange material worthy. So there's already two abilities that is definitely going to be orange material worthy, the special and the ultimate. Now, if we take a look at his passive, and typically passives are good for orange material, let's see what this guy has. On spawn, apply 2 deflect to self and all Sinister Six allies. Gain plus 15% focus for self per Spider-Verse ally. Uh, and Spider-Verse allies gain plus 15% focus. And then on death, summon one to two mirror images at 220% of normal damage and 150% of normal health. Now, all of these characters, it doesn't specify Sinister Six. It specifies Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse applies to the Spider-Verse team as well as all the Sinister Six that I've seen is Spider-Verse as well. So we've got a huge roster here where we can do some mix and matching. And I think that's pretty cool as well. Now, if you upgrade this to level five, then you're going to plus five focus per Spider-Verse uh, for, for self and uh, for Sp Spider-Verse allies. And then on death, summon two mirror images, a guaranteed two mirror images. And then you're going to increase 40% mirror image damage. So you're going to be 190 percent of uh, no or no damage. You're going to be 260 percent of normal damage there for this for the mirror images. You're going to have a guaranteed two, and then you're going to increase that focus for Spider Verse allies. Uh, and so for me, almost every ability in this guy's kit I think is worthy of orange materials. Now for me, I would definitely do special and ultimate. And then if I have the orange material, if I have enough orange material, I'd probably go into my my passive and not worry about the basic so that's just uh my two cents right there 
So there we go. I like the character model as always. It looks really good. I, I like the animation there where he takes his head off as well. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to Blitz. We have a brand new Blitz I haven't even jumped into yet, so we're going to be at the very beginning of it. We'll do a few rounds of this team with him in there, check out his animations and things like that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, so let's go ahead and jump over there right now. All right, and this is the team I decided to go with. I went ahead and pulled Venom out because Mysterio has the heal blocks and the ability blocks there, and um, I like Carnage's bleeds and everything that he does. So this is the team that I'm going with right now, so let's just go ahead and jump into, into Blitz, take a look at Mysterio's animations. We'll go through a couple battles here. All right, and here we go. So I picked this team because we got some hitty. We got some hitty. <laughs> some hitty. We got some city heroes in there. So I'm going to go ahead and times three it until we get to Mysterio. Let's go after Crossbones over there right off the bat. I got to stop shaking this camera. I do that a lot, don't I? All right, so let's go ahead and do offense up for everybody. Good. All right, so here we go. What are we going to do? Let's see, clear two positive effects, really nothing there. This is apply blind to primary target, gain assist from the Sinister Six, really, uh, and then uh, attack all enemies. You know what, I might as well just do this one right here, just so we can watch the animation. That's that one, that's that big animation. I think you've seen some of the some of the uh, videos that Fox Dex put out on Twitter and stuff like that. But if you haven't, this is a really cool ability, so let's watch this. Slam, I like that. Visually, it's absolutely awesome. And let's go ahead and do, I'm just gonna do, uh, I'm gonna keep it at times one for this one as well. Boom, there's one and two targets there. You get that speed bar filled on Carnage. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and take care of everybody there. You know, I tell you, the animations for this team, for the most part, is very, very cool. A little lackluster when it comes to Rhino, but everybody else is is very cool. Let's do that taunt. Take care of that. <laughs> Carnage just cracks me up. And at times three, man, you just see him like jitterbug. It's funny. All right, let's do this again. All right, let's see, try and get as high as I can. We got some, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We got a tank. We got Yondu. Yondu, you know, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, if you take a look at some of the characters that we used early on, we're really not using those characters much anymore. I mean, we have um, Yondu we don't use much anymore. I mean, he makes it into some Blitz teams. You have... Uh, night nurse i mean she might as well she's she went night night because he, she's not really good anywhere anymore all right so let's go ahead and do this get everybody's offense up there i like that turn one that turn one on um on mysterio here is very cool i'm actually going to go ahead and t go and take that uh positive effect off so we can focus on crossbones but let's see what his basic l attack looks like Boom, there we go. Nice little hovering attack there. All right. Also that second turn on on, um, on Shocker's ultimate already is really cool as well. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go right here. One, two, do some decent damage there. Let's get that taunt going. Boom, he's gone. We've got some negative effects over there because this one does something with negative effects, right? So you do additional damage per negative effect. So we got some nice damage over times over there. So there we go. All right, go ahead and get rid of him. All right, so now let's go Mysterio's special air. So blind, uh, apply blind to primary target, gain assist from Sinister Six. So let's go ahead and just do that to Thanos and see how well of a job that does. There we go. Nice animations. I tell you, it's um I said it before, but the animations are actually pretty cool. Um, especially for Mysterio. Mysterio stuff is very cool. Alright, there we go. We've seen all of his animations, so let's go ahead and just fight for real here. Boom. And then do this. 
Boom, and they're gone. Nice looking team there, though. Now all we need to do is get Vulture in there. Let's go ahead and do it again. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and take it to the Defenders team right there. We're 20k higher, but you know what? We're just having fun, playing through Blitz, hanging out, looking at the new team. Vulture's going to be coming soon, so that's, uh, that's going to be cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get those bleeds on Mr. Danny Rand right there. Then let's do these uh, the offense up, and then we'll do the, the heel blocks from everybody. Right? Do you want to do the heel blocks? This is going to do the heel blocks and two random enemies. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a little, little late, though, right off the bat. Oh, look at that. Mysterio's got some damage right there to him. Let's get that taunt going. Took out those two right off the bat. So Mysterio, you remember, he only has 33k health. He's, um, I got to do some positioning here. I'm going to change positioning around a little bit. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do this. So... And then what is this one here? This is the blind and then the assists. So let's do that with our assist there. And there we go. All right, let's do some rearranging a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and made some changes a little bit uh, and that is what I did. I did the tank on the end, which is what I usually do. And then I've got Mysterio far away from the tank over there. And then I have those uh, those other guys there. So um, may be a good positioning i don't know we will see but uh let's go ahead and jump into this bat map man oh my gosh tongue tied there all right let's go ahead and jump into this uh another uh defenders team and at 79k all right here we go so right off the bat let's do so here's the thing so you're not gonna be able to do that heel block right off the bat so it might not be the right time to use mysterio's heel block because danny's gonna go here really quick i don't think there's anything else i can do about it right tech for target piercing target dodge apply assist now random sinister six yeah often yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get that going there's the heel so i'm gonna wait on that ultimate there and then uh, what? Uh, let's do. See, I want to take out Danny. That's tip that's typical strategy. However, with this with this kit that Mysterio has, let's go ahead and put blind on on um, Punisher over there. So because we knew that he was going to go right, and then let's focus let's focus this shockwave on on Iron Fist back there, and then do this. And then there we go. So maybe now with this team and this team's abilities, we uh, kind of have to reevaluate the strategy in taking these guys down. Now these guys are 20k below me. So once I get once I get up to another level here, and I don't even need, I'm, I'm just going to do this because um, let's go ahead. It's sometimes hard to focus on the fight and talk at the same time, but I. Uh, once I get to a level or once I get an opponent at a level that I'm at, maybe that strategy will stay the same. I don't know. But with the kit, it's uh, it may force us to kind of rethink how we how we prioritize our targets for the defenders. All right. And that is where we're going to stop. So there you go, everybody. That's what I had for you tonight. Just Mysterio leveling him up, taking a look at his abilities, playing around in Blitz a little bit. Uh, the team is coming together rather nicely, I have to say. So really interested to get Vulture in there. Now, we did get to play with the, the, the whole team, with the exception of Mysterio in the Rhino campaign. And that was pretty fun. So we saw Vulture in there. But once we get Vulture here with Mysterio... Uh, could be pretty interesting, could be quite a bit of fun. So far, the team, like I said, is coming together rather nicely. All right, as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.